Barry Cuda, but you can just call me Cuda. I've been all over the world. I've been in the Marines. I've been in professional sports. I was Mr. USA. I have been in wrestling overseas. And I have come to the IWA for one reason, and that's for the belt. And with you folks and you fans behind me, I can take it. I can do anything. I've got two words for the people standing in my way. Cuda's coming. This 1988 Camaro with V8 engine needs rear clip $3,300. A 1981 Chevy Blazer 4x4, light engine fire $2,300. A 1987 Mustang GT with T-top $3,400. A 1987 Samurai 4x4 Repo needs motor repair $3,000. And this 1979 Corvette, front end damage $2,500. For these and other vehicles, call Fans Auto at 1-800-431-2284. And welcome to another exciting IWA wrestling program. I'm sportscaster Dick Curry. And I'm Roger Cohen. Good evening, Dick. Good evening, Roger. What a week for the IWA. <laughs> oh, man. Wow. I'm telling you, more things have happened this week than has ever happened in the IWA total. Absolutely. First of all, Mr. Nick Goulas. The one has, and only. You betcha, has joined forces with the IWA. He's going to be uh, a major, major part of our promotion. Of course, Nick, Gull Nick Goulas, known around the United States, uh, 44 years experience That's right. in the business. Uh, we can't go wrong. That's right. There's no way the IWA can possibly go wrong with Mr. Goulas on board. Also big news this week, uh, Thursday, May 11th, was proclaimed IWA Day in Nashville by Mayor Bill Boner. We'll have footage on that coming up a little bit later. Now let's get into our first match, and that's the Hangman versus Karate Kid as IWA Wrestling continues. Like a ghost from Tombstone, I'm going to come into your life and make it a living hell. You want a death match with me? Texas death match is what you're going to get. I want to string you up with this rope, and we'll see how long you survive. You made the mistake of your life when you signed a match with me, the hangman. Okay, with some strong words there from the hangman. He, he sounds serious, Dick. Wow. Good evening, folks. I'm Dick Curry. And I'm Roger Cohen. Man, we are ready for a big match. I mean, welcome to IWA, our first match of the evening. You betcha. And there's the bell. Okay, the match gets underway. We have the Texas Hangman and the Karate Kid. The Hangman, of course, the man in the mask. God, just kidding. No, this hangman. is a double mask match. That's right. Come on. Come on. Okay, there's the Texas Hangman. 290 pounds of man, okay? Whoa, he's a big guy. <laughs> he is. Good grief. 6'4", 290. Of course, Karate Kid, 210 pounds from parts unknown, okay? That's right. And with his karate skills, he's going to try to take on the Texas Hangman. Yeah, he could possibly corner. do it. He's already done a series of roundhouse kicks. Hangman's coming off, and oh, boot to the face. Puts the hangman back in the corner. Uh, and uh, what do we got here? Oh, roundhouse kick to the chest. He's working on the hangman already. So yeah, is this going to be a wrestling match or karate match? Wow, and a spinning back kick takes the hangman to the mat. And the hangman's out. <laughs> I think he's <laughs> getting tired of getting kicked. I don't blame I him. I guess. Uh, what good grief. I mean, what do we got here? You know. That's going to count on him here. Well, I, I hope the uh, hangman doesn't get counted out of the ring. I don't think so. I, I was, I'm, I've been looking forward to this match for quite a while. I mean, it's, and, a, uh, it's a good match. You ain't kidding. Of course, a little mismatch, actually, um, I guess size-wise. Well, you've got 80 pounds difference. Really? But I think the boy's feet are making up for it. They're going to speak for there. his talents, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> okay, they're stalking each other, and they lock up once again. Now the hangman pushes the karate kid back into the corner. Ah, and a chop to the neck. Oh, it's a reverse, and he slams the hangman into the corner, takes it. Oh, my goodness. Oh, monkey flip right out of the corner. <laughs> oh. That put the hurt on the hangman. He sure did. There's a cover, one, two, and the hangman kicks nah, out. this match isn't over yet. There's no way. Uh, he wants time out. Yeah, he's going to take a little break here. Well, you know those boys from Texas, they need a break here once in a while. That's right. Just That's kind right. of relax. You don't see it. Cal is Texas with a hangman's pro. It's unusual to see a double mask man match, I guess you It is say. unusual. You know, I think the winner maybe ought to take his mask off. The winner or the loser? Yeah. 
And another loser. Lips him off the rope. Oh, clothesline. Takes the karate kid down. Hurts his back. That wasn't too good. See, what this guy needs is some old-fashioned wrestling. Get away from the karate and all that stuff. And a four because I think, to the back. I believe the uh, hangman is just is going to show him just what down-home wrestling is all about. That's right. Hangman whips him off the ropes. Karate kid. Oh! Oh, elbow right into the throat. Shoot. Oh, my There's goodness. That's covered by the hangman. One, two, and Karate Kid right, kicks out. out. Getting up a little bit slow now. You know, to be only 210 pounds, uh, the Karate Kid is awful stout. Oh, the kicks are going to wear him down very, very fast, Dick. He's working on that big man. It's not going to take It's not going to take a whole lot. And he gets the hangman with an elbow. You know, some some people work on one part of the body, but the Karate Kid, he just works on everything. Yeah. You know, he, he, he doesn't just pick a part. He picks, okay, this body. Okay. There's another cover by the Hangman, <laughs> and the Karate Kid kicks out at the count of two. I think the kid's moving a little bit slow now. But believe me, the size of, of the Hangman uh, is coupled with strength. Believe me, the hangman right. is a strong, strong man. He saw that body slam. That you, took a lot out of him. That's right. But he's still kicking out. The hangman's not able to pin him yet. Hangman's setting him up for a suplex, looks like. Whoa. Looks as though the that'll crowd is waiting for something to happen here. One, two, three. It's all over it's for the karate sure kid. Is. There's your winner, the that Texas hangman. hangman. That just goes to show you, down home. That's right. <laughs> wow, the Karate Kid is hurting, I tell you. It's like the sure. Hangman's got his rope with him, as usual. But well, good grief, he's won. I mean, what? Now what's well, he going to do? There's no sense in uh, oh, man, carrying it over anymore. Wow, look at this. Using the rope on oh, the Karate Kid. Oh, he is going to go in and hang the guy. Just, well, he wow. promised he was. Wow. He promised look he was, but we didn't take it seriously. <laughs> Whoa, man, <laughs> what a man. <laughs> oh. Fuck, what a lie when he said Vinny was slow. Cause they ain't got nothing to do. I'm bored to death. I hope we ain't help him. I hope we didn't come down here for nothing. We sure can. I know we can. They drive around, little bitch, and we can't find some business. I thought Benny was slow back here in New York on that midnight shift. I had that you, boy. It's turf. It's turf. Fuck turf. Benny, show him slow. I'm tired of this. Hey, 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 I've eaten that one. She'll be quiet. We'll sneak up on him. You got to show me proud, man. Doctor, be smiles. I'll smile. Doctor, show me proud. Be quiet. We make lots of money on here. Be quiet. We get to knock him out. Be quiet. Hit it. Hit it. Hit it. Oh, I got one, dog. Hit him. 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 Why wrestle with that dreaded task of doing laundry when you can team up with the largest and most convenient laundromat in Tennessee? Soap opera laundry. Free coffee and TV while you wait or play your favorite video game in air-conditioned comfort. Bundle service also available. Just 50 cents per load Tuesday through Thursday. Prices that won't put you over the top rope. All at Soap Opera Laundry. Located on Dickerson Road, Gallatin Road, Charlotte Pike, Antioch, and a new Soap Opera Laundry opening soon on Nolansville Road. And welcome back. I'm Dick Curry. And I'm Roger Cohen. Dick? What a match. Was that a wow. uh, wrestling match or karate match? Uh, a little bit of both. Of <laughs> uh, you know, Man, that guy is good. Well, the hangman outweighed the karate kid quite a bit. So. Uh, that was the only thing that uh, got the karate kid beat. Really. I don't know about the rope, though. That was kind of rough at the I, end. Uh, the hangman had won the match. and I have, uh, I don't know, The I've never known the hangman to be a uh, spoiled sport or anything like that, but he won the match. And still use the rope, and then yeah, choke. I don't know. We'll ever know what happened. I don't. Know, the, the kid kicked him around quite a bit. It could have kind of ticked him off. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Coming up next, so we have uh, an exciting match from a man from Joplin, Missouri. 
Steve Sawyer. And Doug Masters. Doug Masters. Uh, this one, of course, is, uh, I don't know, it's, it's a powerhouse match. It is. Uh, Steve always comes in the ring over the top rope, and uh, we'll just have to see it to believe it. That's coming up next as IWA Wrestling continues. Stay with us. For the greatest stars in wrestling today, tune in to the IWA. Okay, folks, from Dallas, Texas, weighing 235 pounds, Doug Masters. Okay, Doug Masters makes his way out to the ring. I'm Dick Curry. And Roger Cohen here. And Miss Jones tells us now who's coming out next. This, by the way, footage from Joplin, Missouri. That was a really good match. It was. It sure was. And now from Joplin, Missouri, weighing 220 pounds, Steve Sawyer. And the hometown boy gets a big hand. Boy, they're ecstatic. He's pumped up, too. Watch this. <laughs> well, they call him Mr. Dynamite. You bet. Steve, Steve Sawyer. Steve is really, he's fired up and ready to go. Of course, he's going to make a, try to make a good showing for us. Uh, hometown and Yeah, he's got a tough and opponent. Uh, Doug Masters uh, looks like, as far as the body build, both of the men are about the same size. Yeah, I think it's going to be a pretty even match myself. It's going to be. It's going to be. 235, 220. It's going to take know. a lot of skill to, sure. to get out of this one. Yeah. Sure. Hey, Sawyer's ready to go. I don't see any concern in Steve's face, though. I mean, uh, he's pretty cool. And there's the bell as the match gets underway. The men stalking each other and locking up. Oh, nice. Whoa. Speed, Dick. That's right. They are oh, fast. Oh, check out the flying drop kick, too. And there goes Doug uh, Masters out there. Uh, you got to get back in there, man. He says Sawyer pulled his tights, yeah. No time right. for a break. No time for a break. You know, before TV, uh, these wrestlers could have gotten away with the pulling tights, but now, <laughs> I mean, we see what happened, you know? No, that's ridiculous. Go, Steve, go. And Steve can work a crowd, can't I? I tell you. He is really high when it comes to good. And Master is a little bit slow about getting back in the ring, and I don't blame him after being tossed around like that. <laughs> no kidding. He's fast. Both of them are fast, though. They are. They really are. Okay, he's back in now. The match gets back underway. They lock up. Steve goes after that left arm of Masters. That's reverse now. Doug Masters, and another reverse, says Steve Sawyer as the... Up. It's going to be a seesaw here. And Masters down. Uh, looks like he's going to try to maneuver him around where he can get him in a pen, but he can't quite figure out what he's going to do, I don't know. No, think. it's, it's going to take uh, a lot of work. It's going to take a lot of strategy yeah. right now, Dick. It really is, because, uh, like you said, uh, both of these guys are pretty evenly matched. Of course, Steve at 235 and uh, Doug at 220. And he's working on the headlock whoa, now. Whoa, whoa. Ooh, put the pressure on Masters. I uh, hate when that happens. Whoa. And Masters is going to flip Sawyer's off the rope. Hey, big elbow. And whoa. big shoulder taking he him down. Shouldered him down. Whoa. All right, a hip toss. Now takes Doug Masters down. And nice Steve move. Sawyer's winding up. He wants to give him That's a good true. punch there. Doug Masters trying to back off of it now. Give yeah. him a break he wants. He wants a break. But there are no breaks in this. No way. <laughs> it's either all or none. Referee calling to get back out there. Sawyer does some really spectacular rope moves, too. He does. Really good at it. Well, you can tell he hopped over the top rope getting into the <laughs> ring. I mean, <laughs> that's something your average athlete uh, no has trouble with him. And I would bet... Whoa. He... Sawyer's now... Oh, he sure did. He, he pulled Sawyer a reverse on him. Yeah, the clothesline took him right to the mat. Good master's going, yeah, here's your hometown boy. Don't talk about it, Doug. Really? Come on. Oh, uppercut. Got to put the hurt on Steve Sawyer. That's really tough on dental work. Not <laughs> really. And master's whipped Sawyer off the rope. Oh, elbow that time. Oh, I think Sawyer's Steve might again. be hurt. Looks like uh, his collarbone might be hurt there. Probably Whoa, that'll make your ears ring. Oh. <laughs> Man. Somebody answer him. Really? <laughs> oh, he, Sawyer looking kind of uh, uh, yeah. kind of rough right now. Set him up for a suplex, and Masters oh. takes him down. Whoa, put the hurt on his back. And there's one, two, and Sawyer uh, kicks out. 
Hey, hey, the man from Joplin isn't going to let this happen. That's right. Not yet. No. He needs to get up, though. He's moving oh, slow. Oh, nice kick to the head there by Masters. Well, you can understand how Doug feels. Of course, he comes out here. This guy is really, you know, giving him the devil right off the bat. So uh, what do you, you, know, you expect? There. Those clotheslines are taking their toe on Sawyer. It sure is. Uh, Looks like Masters in control right now. And he whips Sawyer up. Oh, check this out. Whoa, jumps right oh. off. With a flying body press. One, two. Oh, man. That was an oh, impressive move, good. wasn't it? It sure was. That's what, like we're saying, it's all strategy. It's going to be right. an all strategy match right now. And a standing drop kick. <laughs> Getting out of that ring again. Let me out of here, he yeah. said. He's going to take a little rest now. Oh, my goodness. Sawyer's ready for him. Come on back in. It's my turn sure. now. Sure. Sure. He wants him back in there. It's funny how he can turn right around. I mean, he can look so down and out, and suddenly he's got all this energy. The adrenaline starts pumping, and uh, I think getting mad has something to do with that, too. Getting mad might have a thing. You, know, you get fight. whipped up on him enough, you're going to get a little bit mad about that. Uh, <laughs> really? Okay, they're locking fingers, uh, or uh, attempting to lock fingers here. What are we doing? Oh, the arms look about the same size. I think uh, Masters may be a little bit taller. He'll have the advantage on this. Mm, it's going to be a... Oh, Sawyer. Ah, yep, yep. I think uh, the height he advantage. Got he got Putting it. the pressure on Sawyer's fingers and on the wrist. Oh, look, a boot to the midsection mm -hmm. there by Masters. That's nice. That's, that's a real nice move. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I think Steve's coming back. I don't know. They, Masters keeps kicking him. I don't see how no. he can. Put now, the pressure. Why is the referee, first of all, why is the referee allowing that to happen? Well, this is a, a submission hold, I would say. And, uh, you know, if a man wants to give up, hey, <laughs> a nice slip there by Sawyer, though. Oh, yeah. He's not going to give oh, up. Oh, he's crying. Look, Look at the that. blues. Yeah. They yeah. pull on his tights again. Reminiscent of the interns. Right. <laughs> well, <laughs> really? I tell you. <laughs> Probably got a phone call from the squash. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't doubt it. And uh, says, look, uh, do you use the tights trick? Yeah, he's got the squash handbook stuck in his tights. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And once again, the men are stalking each other. They lock up. Nice flip by Sawyer. He's right at a roll instead of a flip. Man, he's fast as a rabbit. I tell you. You aren't kidding now there is a hip toss. Elbow. Oh, he's smash. trying to get out of his way, but he couldn't there. He was trying. Oh, no elbow there. All right, he's working over Masters now. He goes for his left leg. Gonna put the twist on it. The rest saying you want to give it up. Oh, that's gonna really work on that old football injury. Yeah, now. really. He's twisting it now. He's gonna go for a knee. <laughs> oh. oh, working on that left leg of Masters. Saw you're putting the pressure on it. How can he sit there and let that man do that to him? Well, with the pressure on the knee, it's uh, kind of hard to get up. Puts you in a bad, bad position. Sorry, you got a little hair that time. Give him a break. And there's a body slam. Oh, body press. Oh. Okay, Sawyer's going out of the ring. And that's unusual. Looks like he's making his way up to the top oh, rope. He's I got something he's in mind doing. here. There goes Sawyer off the top. Oh, oh, nice little flip, and he's pinned he, him. That's he it. got him. That's it. He couldn't flip out of that one. That was a three. Your winner is Steve Sawyer from Joplin, Missouri. Stay with us. we got lots more action on the way as IWA Wrestling continues. Once again, your winner, Steve Sawyer. And the winner with the Joplin Hi, and welcome back. I'm Roger Cohen. And I'm Dick Curry, and it's been an exciting show, hasn't it? It has been an exciting show, wow. Dick, and uh, the what we'd like to talk about right now, though, is, of course, Bill Boner and his proclamation of IWA Day. That's know. right. Uh, of course, this includes uh, Nick Goulas, as right. we mentioned earlier, who's going to be promoting for IWA. And right. We're very, very proud to be a part of it. I'll That's right. That. Of course, uh, all of the people here... Uh, the staff and crew of the IWA are dead set against drugs. That's right. Uh, we want to do anything we possibly can 
to prevent drug abuse. And, of course, uh, you saw Max Payne a little bit earlier do a uh, Just Say No promo. Mm -hmm. And we'll be doing a lot of those. Dr. Squash has done a few gentlemen. Believe it or not, Dr. Squash. Yeah, really. And uh, Barry Cuda is uh, going to be involved in too. that. So uh, now we're going to go to that clip. Uh, this is the proclamation declaring uh, IWA Day. Stay with us. We'll have more comments after. Uh, Mr. Goodis and Mr. Silva, the Mayor Bill Bonas, sorry he couldn't be here today, but on his behalf, I want to present you this proclamation, and I would like to read it. Thank, Thank you, sir. Whereas Joe Silva, president of the International Wrestling Alliance, has shown concern and pride in Nashville's youth and their problems, and whereas Joe Silva had the courage to take a stand against drug abuse and other related problems in our society, and whereas Joe Silva had the courage to invent new concepts in professional wrestling, including many world firsts, and whereas Nick Goulas has been a promoter of pro wrestling for 44 years and has shown himself to be one of Nashville's finest residents and one of the greatest promoters of all time. And whereas Nick Goulas has proven himself to be, a asset, to be an asset to the pro wrestling community and for providing fans with thousands of good memories and enjoyment. And whereas Joe Silver and Nick Goulas have joined forces to bring wrestling to a new audience and to bring new concepts to the people who look up to wrestlers as an example. Now, therefore, I, Bill Bonham, Mayor of Nashville, to hereby proclaim May the 11th, 1989, as IWA Day in Nashville. A witness thereof, I have hereunto set my hand this the 10th day of May, 1989, signed Bill Bonham, Mayor of Nashville. Thank you, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. And there you have it. That was the proclamation declaring IWA Day in Nashville. You bet you, Dick. And that's something to really, really be proud of. We it certainly is. are here at the IWA. And, of course, that was Elsie Jones, the administrative assistant to Mayor Boner, reading the proclamation. And then to his right, of course, was Nick Goulas. Right. Dr. Squire standing behind uh, Joe Silver, the president of the IWA, and George Goulas uh, standing directly behind Nick. That's right. Uh, very historic and monumental step right. for it the is. IWA. It certainly is. Uh, talking about exciting things, now we've got a match coming up that we had portions of a couple of weeks ago, and uh, people were saying, we want to see that match. we got phone entirety. calls, Dick, so, about this uh, match. It's and... a tag team title match, Danger Zone versus the interns with Dr. Squash. Uh, it's about 22 minutes long, right. so uh, kick back and get Grab your, your popcorn. Off, really, and uh, enjoy <laughs> this match. Uh, I think you're really going to like it. Stay with us. We've got lots of exciting action on the way. Hi, fans. Barry Cuda here and gentleman Jim Corbett. And for more great action in wrestling, turn to the IWA, 1030 on Saturday night on Channel 2. That's right, fans. We're here for what you want to see. Live IWA wrestling, Saturday night, 1030 on Channel 2. Back turn. Her night, you know? Then he goes back later and makes her give it back, right? I, no, I don't think so. No? I don't think so. Okay. And the end of the ring, let's uh, see if Miss Joan has a few words for us here. Danger Zone. With their amazing disappearing pants. Let's see. Looks like Barry's having a little trouble getting out. Uh, he'll get him. That's right, that's right. Could be worse. <laughs> Jim thought out. that was funny, eh? Yeah, really. He should laugh. I mean, uh... Wow, well, what can you say? They got, uh, they got the crowd, they got the clothes. They got the Velcro. They've got it all, don't they? They got... Look at, look at Cuda. <laughs> Squash thinks he hit Whoa. Little flex out. Man, if I had that build, I could really hold the microphone. <laughs> Okay, here's the music for you know who. Here they are, the bad guys of wrestling. I can't stand. Do we have to do this? Dr. Squash My and man. interns, or Dr. Squish, as Barry Cuda would say. <laughs> <Really>? <laughs> and there they are in all their glory. Oh, God. Dr. Squash, scalpel, IV. Originally employed as orderlies by New York's Bellevue Psychiatric Hospital, I understand. They were dismissed for frequent brutality.
to the patients under the care. And it might have ended up as inmates themselves if not for the intervention of Dr. Squash. What a guy. What a guy. Hey, you know, they, they actually seem to enjoy inflicting pain. You know? Oh, yeah, and uh, harassing the audience. I mean, that's you know, their middle name is, hey, talk to me. I want to you know, say something bad to you. I know this is a title match and everything, but it, it seems like it's secondary to the intern's brutality. Is what's up there, you know? Oh, they want to hurt people, that's for sure. sure. Uh, they don't just want to wrestle. They want to inflict pain, uh, even torture, as you mentioned, uh, from Bellevue days. And there's a dog giving them words of advice. So, you know, that's what it shows up to me. Looks like Barracuda's ready to go, doesn't he? Okay, here we go now. Let's get the match underway. Men stalking each other. Still, some more advice from Dr. Squash. He just won't leave it alone. Barry saying, let's wrestle. Come on, let's wrestle. And they lock up. by gentleman Jim putting the pressure on now oh, scalpel whips him off the ropes and a shoulder takes he scalpel down of him. <laughs> oh he hurt his head oh. getting a rock wall hurt his head that time <laughs> gentleman Jim saying come on come on he gets that arm once again he's twisting it nice flip there I have fans coming up to me I'm, they come up to oh, me oh the intern say. rakes his eyes now Like he's trying to set him up for a suplex with Jim's uh, trying to bulldog his way over into <laughs> the corner for a tag. Oh, he wants that tag. And he, he got the just tag, got but the ref had his back turned. And no way it's going to work. No oh, way. No. no, he's going to get Cuda right no. back out. And, of course, they're going to work Referee's on Jim some more. see it, guys. I'm sorry. As bad as I hate to say it. And there's the double teaming gentleman Jim there. again. Oh, That's come great. here, baby. Jim still hurt. He's in the corner, and the intern's working him over. If the referee would turn around, he'd see. There goes Jim out of the uh, ring, onto the floor. Uh, there goes the intern right after him. Kuda's still working with the other intern in the ring. He whips Kuda off the rope. Kuda comes. Oh, oh no. no. He, he hit the referee. Wow. The he referee is the ref. down. He looks like he's hurt. I uh, can't really see exactly what kind of shape. But he okay. Took a, this he is making Kuda mad lick. now. He's going to take care of the intern. He took quite a lick, the referee. Uh, and he takes him down. Oh. Looks like the doctor's over there to check him out. See if the referee's okay. He's got the intern he down. Uh, Jim and Jim and the other intern are working over in the floor. I mean, there's action all over the armory here. Hey, check it out. Kuda's got Dr. Squash. Look at this. He's going to take this him in beautiful. the ring. This is great. This is great. All right, he's got Dr. Squash in the ring. <laughs> right by the beard, he's going to climb. He's going to do it. Oh, this is the day I've been waiting for, Dick. Give it to him, Kuda. Could this possibly be the day? Oh, the intern, look at the intern <laughs> coming off the top rope, <laughs> taking Kuda down. <laughs> look at this. He's got it oh, down. He's holding his little beard. Oh, now the doc's going to help the ref. Yeah, yeah he's gonna, right. Now yeah. he's going to help him. Sure. Yeah, right over there. Look at this. Oh, man, I can't believe it. One, two. Three, and it's all over. It's all over. Wait a minute. I, this can't be right. No, it can't No, be. this is not There's right. No way. It's going to be a disqualification out of this. And welcome back. Uh, I'm Dick Curry. And I'm Roger Goins. It's been an exciting show. It has. It's been an exciting week for us. Of course, the Danger Zone will retain possession of their belt because of Dr. Squash being in the ring. That's right. Hey, we've got lots of action coming up next week, 10.30 on you, Channel 2. You better be here. That's right. We will. See you then. Bye-bye.